What's up, PrePTs, and welcome back to another video on how to stand out in your physical therapy school application in three minutes or less. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to stand out in your physical therapy school application using relationships. Yes, using relationships. And I don't care where you are in the spectrum, whether you're just starting out and trying to get a feel for what's out there and get your name out there, um, or you're all the way to, hey, I'm on the wait list, how do I keep this relationship going? We're gonna tackle all that. You can use these three steps no matter where you are. So keep these in mind. Number one, research. Two, ask. And three, execute. Those are the three, okay? So number one, do your research on whoever you're trying to get in touch with or build that relationship with. And make sure that you find somebody or you're doing your research in something you actually like so that you can keep that converso uh, conversation going uh, with a genuine spirit. So when you get to number two, ask, now that comes effortlessly. Now you can ask whatever questions you want. Those questions just come off the top of the head easily. It's not like, oh, I saw this video. They told me to research and ask. So. I found like, no, ask what you care about, research what you're interested in so that conversation moves smoothly. Now, the key part of number two asking is make sure you ask a question that requires them to respond with giving you an action to do. So I mean, saying something like, hey, I saw this research article on this that you wrote, super interested in, or I saw what you did across town on social media, it was great. And now I'm just interested to know if you have any more research is there something I can get involved with? Is there somebody who I can talk to? See where I'm going with that? So now you can move on to number three. You can execute on what they said. So now you have a reason to come back to them. Y'all with me? Now you have a reason to come back to them. And now a month later, six weeks later, whatever that is, you can now go and say, hey, Mr. Mrs. Professor, uh, thank you so much for giving me some advice with that email last month. And this is what I did, this is what I found, this is what happened. And now based on that, I just have a couple more questions. Then you ask them another question that requires them to give you an action and you keep that relationship going, you keep that conversation going. So that's what I want you to keep in mind. See what we're doing there? We're not saying, hey, I want to keep this long chain of text messages going like I'm trying to make you my boyfriend or girlfriend. We don't need to do that. We just need to keep uh, ourselves in the top of their mind going forward. So now that when we apply, it's like, oh yeah, I had a, you know, four emails over the last six months with this person and this is what they did and that's what I saw and they actually executed. That's what you need to do. So keep that in mind. Those three steps, one research, two execute, uh, sorry, one research, uh, two ask and three execute. Research, ask and execute and you guys will be in a much better place and that'll help you stand out a thousand times more uh, than just saying, hey, when are you guys gonna accept me? Am I in PT school yet? Y'all don't wanna do that. So. Hope that helped. Like and subscribe. Share this out with your friends so we can help so many more pre-PTs like you get into PT school. Hope that helped. We'll see you on the next video.